Hi, I'm Shelley Wood and this is my tiny sewing room where I make doll clothes sewing videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pair of bell-bottom pants which will fit Monster High, Ever After High, and similar small-waisted dolls. But before we begin, please go to my website, ShellyWood.com, to download this free PDF sewing pattern. Use the Boot Cut Elastic Waist Jeans pattern to cut out all the pieces you see here. Place one pant leg on top of another, keeping, as we say, right sides together. Sew the crotches together Notice I'm using a yellow stitch and clip them like you see me doing in this next video piece. So if you don't have a pair of these tiny clipping scissors, I highly recommend getting a pair. And of course I have links on my website that might help. Open the crotch seams and press them open. Here's how the pants look from the other side now. Place these two pants one on top of the other, keeping right sides together. And there you go, just like that, keeping the right sides together. Now, sew down one pant leg from hip to toe. Here's a closer look at my seam so you know what I mean. Open the pants up and press this seam. Create a casing along the waist by folding once and then a second time. Now my first fold is very small and then my second fold is going to be quite a bit deeper. You might think, well what is quite a bit deeper? You want to make your casing about one centimeter wide. The idea is it needs to be wide enough to send a little safety pin through it. Measure your doll's waist for elastic. Allow a little bit of overlap when you cut. Secure a tiny safety pin to one end of the elastic. Send the safety pin through the casing. Now, if you're struggling with this, I do have a whole tutorial on casings but you just want to make sure that you push the safety pin all the way through the casing but before your elastic disappears in there and frankly I had a little trouble with my elastic disappearing just watch right there I have to pick it out a little but the key is stick a little straight pin in through the elastic make sure it goes all the way through the elastic even on the other sides so you want to make sure you have two straight pins holding the elastic in place before you remove the safety pin. And there you go. So keep the elastic from slipping into the casing by sliding a straight pin all the way through the elastic on both sides of the casing. Fold the pants in half keeping right sides facing. So your pants will look like this. And that's what I mean, you want the pretty side touching the pretty side of the pants. And now we're going to sew from the hip to the toe again. Here's an easier view of my stitching to help you understand hip to toe. Go over the casing several times with your sewing machine to really keep it in place. Hem only one pant leg. Now I use a double fold hem. Sew the inseam from toe to crotch and from crotch to knee, stopping at the knee. Hem the other pant leg. Now there's a helpful tip here. When you are sewing, and by the way I'm using the whip stitch to do my hemming and if you need to help with the whip stitch, 
I have a tutorial for that and it's down below this video on YouTube. But one of the things that will help you make sure that your hem looks nice is to check every now and then to make sure your hem is even. So as I'm stitching this hem on the second pant leg, every now and then I stop and I join the two sides like that to see if they're the same length. And then I make adjustments as needed and continue to whip stitch my hem. Finish the inseam from the knee to the toe. Now your pants should look something like this. You'll need to invert the pants and a chopstick can help you gently poke out the legs. So in this video, watch me as I pick up my chopstick, I give it a twist and that kind of helps poke out the legs without damaging them. And I'm not using the pokey end of the chopstick, I'm using the more dull end of the chopstick, the wider end, so I don't accidentally cut the fabric with that pokey side. That looks very nice. Now you're ready to try the pants on your doll. For more free printable sewing patterns, for doll clothes to fit dolls of many shapes and all different sizes, please remember to visit my website, ShellyWood.com. What if there was an easy way to take a big doll pattern and resize it to fit a little doll, or vice versa? I'm Shelly Wood, the doll clothing designer, and in my pattern alteration class, I'm going to share with you my resizing formula. Pattern alteration is when you take a pattern that you already own and you make changes to it. Let's say a dress doesn't fit your doll quite right. I'll show you how to create a gusset to extend the dress's bodice. Along the same lines, I'll show you how to use a doll's body measurements to lengthen and shorten shirt sleeves and to recreate the pants patterns you already own so they will fit dolls of different shapes and sizes. Following my instructions, you'll learn how to reshape dresses and skirts, making them fuller or less full depending on the look you're going for. With this collection of more than 40 videos, you'll use my measurement guide and dozens of tips and tricks to create a full wardrobe for the dollar dolls of your choice. I invite you to join me. We are going to have so much fun.